Hello, uh, media psychology students. Uh, today I'm going to talk about theories of persuasion and advertising. Okay. Uh, so we are talking about psychology of persuasion. So I'm going to talk about one particular theory of, of persuasion and also how we test ideas or hypotheses about the effect of advertising. Okay. So there are uh, many theories of persuasion, uh, cognitive dissonance theory, health, Philippine mother, but one of the most uh, frequently uh, cited theory uh, is called elaboration like with mother. Okay. So, um, this theory was proposed by Richard Perry and John Cassiopo and one of the most uh, uh, famous uh, study about uh, to prove this theory is uh, written by Perry Cassiopo and Goldman and we are going to read this article okay so uh, this theory provide a useful framework how key persuasion factors interact with each other okay so this is Richard Perry uh, still very active uh, he has been a main figure on persuasion for about 40 years uh, he is the one of the most cited uh, researcher uh, in the world okay and John Kashopo and he uh, passed away uh, in 2018 but also one of the main figure in in social psychology cognitive processing and persuasion so we are going to uh, read this article personal involvement as determinant of argument based persuasion so this is journal article and you may feel this is uh, not easy to read but i'm gonna I'm going to show you, you know, how to read this article. It is not that difficult, but there are some technical uh, words or jargons or statistics, but you can skip it. Okay. So, so I searched this article in Google Scholar and it has been cited more than 2000 times. So that is amazing. Okay. It's a very famous study and the first phase, uh, uh, page, and it says, you know, in recent review of the rumors approaches to attitude change that have developed over the past 35 years, and Perry Kashopo, they wrote a textbook, suggest that these many approaches could be seen as proposing two distinct routes to persuasion. So they argue there are two different route paths to persuasion one is called central route the other is called peripheral route one is 중심 경로 and 우회 경로 okay so uh, central route means uh, persuasion resulting from a diligent consideration of each relevant argument so in that uh, route people or read uh, messages, process information, and thinking very hard, and you know, and then you know, this, they 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 think hard. This approach for under this route to emphasize such factors: comprehension, learning, and retention of message argument. Basically, people look at the message argument and then and this evaluate those argument, and and then they made up make up their their mind okay so basically combination or integration of issue relevant arguments on the second group is called peripheral root this is not the central root but something else uh, in the second view attitude change because an attitude object has been associated with either positive or negative cues Q is dancer, you know, and they, what what this is in their case, people not looking at the main arguments, but looking for something, some small things, but they can use it to make an overall evaluations. So uh, what could it be? 
uh, you may look at the name of author you know who argued this and then look at the title of the author is this a doctor you know hey is she pure white that's it okay that that is a cue but it has a lot of reasons number one number ten okay it, should, it seems good it sounds good it looks good you know make up their mind but that is called Q. in even uh, a presidential election or general election and sometimes you don't have you don't have time or you don't have uh, knowledge about the issues and just you look at the the face you know and then just and then look at the the person uh, the candidate and then you you may make up your mind based on your impression okay but there is also Q yeah, still you you can make a decision but Q could be a food could be pain you know if you 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 receive the message but and also food are, are delivered provided and then you you enjoy the food and then and then suddenly you uh, you uh you 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 make your mind positively toward the object that is cute and there are always experiment about this you know when when the food is provided people usually show more positive attitude towards it okay pain the other one source credibility source objective source power and people can be make up their mind based on these things but these are uh, uh, Q and then in each uh, no need for engaging in extensive issue relevant thinking so but here these are uh, one kind of persuasion factors comprehension self-generated learning retention or issue relevant argument so but here is more serious more effortful you know effort effortful process of information and make a judgment uh, cautiously but here is people use a simple cue or something uh, something you know uh, some other things and then make uh, their mind okay relatively uh, without you know no serious effort okay and then it says the attitude change induced via central root tend to be enduring and and predictive of subsequent behavior okay so what it mean is if you look at the data and then you you make your mind uh, while going through uh, central route and then your attitude or your decision may be enduring okay uh, you know, persistent or predictive to your behavior but in the peripheral route your attitude can be ephemeral ephemeral is you know uh, go away uh, or, or disappear soon okay so which condition under which each route to persuasion okay so the question is this in which condition people go to the central route or people go to the peripheral route and they argue that it depends on the topic of high personal relevance if topic is personal relevant uh personal relevant you know uh it's important you know it's it's my problem this is my i'm so interested in it and then also it has some consequence on my life you know this marriage and and buying a car uh, you know it's important you know if that is important people very cautious uh, and process you know uh, the information as much as po uh, much you know possible when well, there is thought for consideration of its relevant argument okay but peripheral cue become more important as the personal involvement with the issue decreases when you know each involvement importance decreases and the people hey this is not my problem i don't want to i don't want to spend much energy or effort on this problem so but people asking me the things and then you just look at the some simple cues 
look at the source credibility or source attractiveness or other things okay so this is the uh, the elaboration likelihood model there are there are two roots one is central root the other is peripheral root okay uh, and then it is liberal motivate and then uh, determines by level of motivation that means uh, the importance or involvement okay when this is the topic is important you have high motivation to process information and also you need to you need to have some knowledge or, or things okay or, or ability to process information if you don't have one and then you probably go to the you know peripheral route looking for cues but it it end up uh, weak attitude weak attitude means ephemeral you know it's it's not persistent uh, not not strong okay but if you have a high motivation important still and then you also have knowledge and you go to the central route you know use argument quality you know it depends on argument quality and then you probably judge you know make uh, make your mind and then and, and your mind your attitude will persist okay this is the error mother okay so in the central cue in the central root argument quality whether whether or not argument has high quality or low quality okay uh, that will determine the amount of the change but not q but in contrast in peripheral root not the argument quality because people don't pay attention to much about uh, on the uh, argument quality arguments but they looking for some cures and then when they find some cures and then they will make their mind uh, make up their mind based on the q okay so this is the, their hypothesis. Okay, our hypothesis was that under conditions of high personal involvement, persuasion would be affected more by the quality of the message arguments uh, employed, but under low involvement conditions, persuasion would be tied more strongly to the expertise of the source. Okay, but it is it is hard to understand. But but this is what the expectation. Okay, hypothesis. Is called, you know, expect. It is expectation. Okay, your prediction. Okay, what 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 did they predict is so you have strong argument or weak argument. Okay, uh, and then central. This means high personal involvement, high personal importance. Okay, in in the central root. Uh, strong argument induce greater attitude change here attitude change than weak argument so uh, so in central root argument quality determines the uh, attitude change but in peripheral root okay there's no effect of argument quality okay strong and weak is the same but cues like source credibility or cues and cues are very effective in peripheral root so here is you know Q uh, create more attitude change than uh, no Q. Okay, but in central root there is no effect of Q between you know yes no. Okay, so right so because this is their hypothesis and then but this is a uh, you know more elaborated version of the uh, hypothesis. For example, you know, under conditions of high personal involvement when H is important message with strong argument induce greater attitude change the message with weak argument however under conditions of low personal involvement message with strong argument will not do not induce greater attitude change but but uh but opposite pattern for uh, source credibility or expertise q okay so they tested their study with the uh, uh they have two conditions high issue involvement or low issue involvement okay so i will tell you how they create that okay and then they prepare two messages uh, two kinds of messages one is strong argument or weak argument 
and then they have uh, two level of source expertise high source credibility high source expertise and low source expertise and they combine them to each other okay and then the topic was uh you know policy change it is called comprehensive exam you know in which the missouri uh, it says i will tell you this this is the story okay i'm gonna tell you how they the how they you know deceive uh student uh, participants and then and this and they they invite student as participants and then the uh, and then they are uh, randomly assign the student into different classrooms or different cl uh, conditions okay but basically he said this hey this university uh, is trying to have new policy new regulation for undergraduate students okay and they say hey uh, we are going to ask require a comprehensive exam for all undergraduate students uh, to be graduated that means you know you need to take up exam and you, you have to pass the exam and then you can graduate okay you know besides you uh, you took all the classes but still you have to take an exam but that is a crazy idea okay but but here before they finalize their their policy and they want to have student opinion about that so uh, and then that is the cover story okay cover story means a lie you know they telling a lie and then they and then they showed either strong argument strong argument has some good reasons you know hey the uh when when we have comprehensive exam and the and later student can have high salary or or what things there's some strong argument and strong reasons and the other condition and the message uh have uh weak arguments like in you are brave and you want to challenge your things okay and then also uh in one condition they told hey this proposal was written by committee uh, led by a very famous education uh, expert professor in princeton university okay this high source credibility and the other condition they tell hey this mess proposal was written uh in a high school class so you know that okay but also in one condition they say hey when a school uh decide to do this and then they were uh, uh institute this policy in next week uh, next next year so that's your problem the participants problem but the other condition hey it will be instituted in 10 years okay in 10 years so low involvement let me let me let me uh, explain it in korean okay to to help you understand so uh 그 실험에서 학생들을 불러서 다른 컨디션에다가 웬, 뭐, 우연적으로 이렇게 할당한 다음에 학생들한테 거짓말을 했어요 어떻게 하냐면 아이 대학교가 지금 학생들이 졸업하기 위한 새로운 어떤 그 필수 요건을 마련하려고 하는데 그거는 뭐냐 종합시험을 보는 것이다 아 수업을 다 듣고 난 다음에도 종합시험을 봐서 종합시험 통과해야지만 졸업을 할수 있게 하겠다 그런데 이런 그 정책을 아그 최종적으로 결정하기 전에 학생들한테 의견을 물어보고자 이런 스타디를 하는 거니까 이런 서베이를 하는 거니까 요 프로포즈 읽어보고 여러분 의견을 말씀해 주십시오 이게 다 거짓말이에요 근데 이제 그렇게 한 다음에 왜 대학원은 종합시험을 보거든 그래서 그러고 난 다음에 뭐냐면 아 근데 그 어떤 컨디션에서는 되게 좋은 그 강한 이유를 담아놨고 다른 컨디션은 되게 약한 이유 말도 안 되는 이유를 해서 strong argument weak argument 만들고 또한 컨디션에서는 와이 프로포저리 프린스턴 대학교의 교수가 커미트를 있는 거기서 만든 건데 뭐 하긴 되게 잘 만들었다 한 컨디션은 아 고등학교 인근 고등학교 학생들이 일단 쓴 것이다 그러니까 말이 안 되지 이게, 이게 low, low, high source credibility low source credibility 이렇게 하고 그 다음에 또한 컨디션에서는 아 이게 이제 결정이 되면 내년에 바로 시행한다 그러니까 it's your problem high importance high involvement 근데 다른 컨디션에서는 low involvement 이게 10 years 10년 후에 그걸 할 거다 right so 
and then they ask after they read a proposal and then, hey how much do you uh, do you uh, positive or do you agree with the new policy and then they measure the attitude or things so and then there are but two kinds of things low involvement and high involvement and the weak argument and the strong argument and low credibility and high credibility when we mix them up we have eight different conditions okay but this is how how it works okay so they put the people in the in one of the eight conditions and then ask and here in this group we read us one specific a message you know combined the low involvement weak argument and low credibility and then they they indicate their attitude towards uh, the comprehensive exam and then we we just calculate and find the mean and then so we find the mean of attitudes for each condition okay and they compare it okay so i just explained all this okay and then this is what they found I, I slightly changed the the graph, but here this is their prediction. Okay, a strong and weak argument uh, next year. This is a high involvement. This is a low involvement. They predict this, and they basically they found a very similar pattern, and then they use some statistics, and then and the statistics conclude uh, this is the same kind of pattern with this, basically and. Uh, a high involvement and this and this is very uh, is a uh, big change but here is no uh, big change right here low involvement you got it I think about it okay but also they predict this pattern right this high source gravity low source gravity and uh, they expect in 10 years in the low person involvement and credibility or Q um, make a difference in the change and they found in low involvement like this in low involvement uh, uh, high credibility uh, you know induced greater change so it was good but here I found one study and they test uh, the, the elaboration like glued mother uh, using a beer advertisement this is very interesting and here is psychology and marketing, uh, central and peripheral processing of advertising, and how do consumers with different level of involvement process information and, uh, and, and such a message argument and source credibility. And then they they had a they create interesting uh, advertisement, but and they slightly change the advertisement and they make an either you know uh, high source high you know high source effect you know attractive and not attractive and strong argument and weak argument high involvement low involvement so they had uh, basically two conditions for each and combined eight conditions exactly same thing but with advertisement for new low alcohol beer and this is the one of the two uh, messages here, this is very interesting and then in one condition they show they presented this picture okay you know and then in another condition they uh, show this uh, this picture okay but actually these people are exactly same people but they had a different you know uh, uh, appearance uh, different clothing and, and 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 then you know facial expressions are different they try to make it more attractive and less attractive so they can test the effect of source expertise okay here is john and berkeley uh, featured enjoying and then education recent graduate at major university and then uh surgeon you know and then lawyer right here is sales clock and department store and then toll booth operator you know it is low and high or pretty and also they have a strong argument and weak argument uh, a strong argument means the blah blah it is very good information here is doesn't much make sense okay so and then they make a high and low involvement they means this high and low involvement that means hey 
and then after the experiment and then you are going to uh, receive some gift for the participation and then one of them is beer you know and then you can choose one this is a high involvement but also it says hey this beer will be sold in your town so it's something relevant something you may be interested in so people may look at the you know argument or things information or reasons and the other condition and then so and this will be sold in in far away from your town is is something not relevant there is no consequence on your life okay and then so what here is this is another representation of the article and uh, of the experiment here we have a strong and weak argument condition involvement low and high involvement and then when when issue is not much important there will be no difference between weak argument and strong argument conditions in terms of amount of change but in high involvement strong message strong argument must uh, create more error to change than weak argument okay right let me can i use this yeah so but you know so here is error to change there will be no difference here strong and weak and then in low condition but in high involvement condition strong argument this this should be something five this is two something like that okay and then they found here in high involvement condition uh, uh, they they found they they found the effect of argument quality you know effect of argument quality uh, on attitude change so this is good right uh, next And the effect of social attractiveness and then and the, and the, this is a hypothesis okay and when issue is high high environment there will be no no effect at all okay there is no effect of source source attractiveness but maybe high environment you know like this right in the low environment condition high highly attractive source message create more attitude change than low or no less attractive source and then they found their pattern okay in the raw environment so this is good so and they uh, this is what they found so what is it okay, implications uh, implications uh, when issue is highly relevant to, to target audience, when issue is highly relevant to target audience, target audience will put a lot of effort process information, and then so, and the, in that case, argument quality is key for the uh, factor of persuasion, but uh, need to develop strong and valid argument okay, using logics and st statistics. But if it is less relevant, and then you are going to yeah, put less effort to process information only on uh, you know things. So here and then let me show you something here. Uh, the uh, so cures. I, I will show you uh, some some cues. Okay, example of cues. So in the, you should use a uh, let me show you. So here, peripheral queue, and the, in that case, you expect people don't have much knowledge, not, not much interest uh no uh less less motivated not much important and you better use these cues so sir white 
uh, the lengthier the merrier group decision is right while other people believe is right and attractiveness or these are peripheral cures and for this class i'm going to give you one little assignment and then you need to find uh, one example for uh, for the central processing based on central processing one is peripheral uh, processing okay but this is my i i wrote this article and published this article in two years ago uh, and, and then here is i uh, replicated uh perry kashibuk oldman study uh and then uh and then i basically i found some problems in in these studies and then so if you are interested in it and you may read this and then and also i have my youtube uh, and then I, I explained this article in, in, in Korean and, and, and also I, I explained my study. It is basically a very similar study, okay? But I explained in, uh, in, in Korean. So if you are interested in it, and you may watch my YouTube, uh, you know, Persuasion Come Seminar, okay? Thank you. Bye.